Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, hello. Everything okay, Saira? Hello, teacher. No problem today to connect. No problem. Ah, okay. What about you, Anna Lillian? No problem with your internet connection? Hi, teacher. No, no problem. Ah, okay. <clears throat> I remember in previous model, Majo, uh, you said that uh, at this uh, that this day your 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 internet service is reducing. <laughs> Recuerdo que en los módulos anteriores decía que ya por esta fecha se me va terminando el internet. Sí, piche, pero hoy lo pago un día antes para que no me lo quiten. Ah, ok. Ajá, y que solo es cuando no pago el primero. Entonces, ahí es eh, el... Eh, ahí el problema. No, ahorita estoy al día. Okay. Ahora me acaba el internet porque estoy quedando a tiempo. Hoy no. Hoy tiene suficiente internet.
You have enough internet today. That is good. Yeah, lo peor que en las clases de la U empiezan a decir los licenciados. Algunos están saliendo por no responder. <laughs> That usually happens, no? Eso sucede a menudo. Eso pasa. That's not new. Okay. Let us see how many people do we have now? Nine. We need to wake a little bit. Good evening. Good evening, sir.
Okay, let me check out the attendance now. Ana Beatriz. Present teacher. Ana Lilian. Present. Escobar. Escobar. Selina. Present. Diana. Present teacher. Eric Orlando. Present. Thank you. Jose Jonathan. Present. Okay. Juan Carlos. Present teacher. Welcome, sir. Laura. Good evening, teacher. Present. Hello, Laura. Present teacher. Okay, okay. Laura is here. Maria Concepcion. Yes, teacher, sorry. Okay, Maria Elena. Maria Elena. It's not here. Mario Ernesto. Present teacher. Welcome. Mayra Veralice. Present. Saira Marlene. Present teacher. Misael. Present teacher. Welcome, sir. Wendy Manuel. Present teacher. Okay. Yesenia Lisset. Present teacher. Present. Okay. You feel like you have a soul drop? Or you just mark your microphone? No, I something. Ah, okay. You forgot to turn off your air conditioner last night, maybe. Se le olvidó apagar el aire, por eso amaneció resfriado. No, desde ayer me mojé. Ah, oh, madre. Con lluvia. Ajá. Uh -huh. 
Okay, no, I'm sorry to hear that. Okay, welcome. Let us start now talking about in this class, uh, what we are going to do is to uh, talk about design a basic plan to organize an inventory manager system, management system. This is class uh, number 23. In order to start today, let us talk about this before in order to get in context with the language, I mean that you find one or more solution for each problem and then we compare with somebody else. We have uh, six different problems and we have some solution. Uh, of course, uh, you can add, as at the moment that we are going to talk about this, uh, you are going to have more idea related with that. For example, number one, the best way to fight poverty is one way to reduce government corruption is you are going to look for that. Maybe uh, you don't need to, to, to look for one option. You can tell me your own, but number three, one way to reduce unemployment is, and you need to add something else, Number four, the best way to stop global warming is. Uh, number five, one way to help the homeless is. And number six, one way to improve air quality is. At the moment that I mentioned your name, we are going to read the problem and at the same time the solution. But I need that you give me more information, not only just the one, the solution that we have right at, at this moment. I don't know if you got my idea. And suddenly I can, I can ask you to somebody else to add more information related with that. Because what I need is that you think and then person try to put in practice all your vocabulary that you have in mind. Okay, if you want, you can uh, take a photo and I'm going, uh, I am going to give you uh, one minute to solve it and then we are going to discuss. Can I uh, stop sharing now? Do you mind if, if, if I stop sharing now? Yes, teacher. Okay. Share again, please. Excuse me? Sharing again, please. Again? Okay. No questions. We have problem and solution. Thank you. Okay, let us start resolving these problems.
Okay, I guess you already uh, got some idea related with that. Which is the problem? Let, let, let us start talking about. Okay, who wants to read number one? Me. Okay. The problem is the best way to fight poverty is I think the solution is to create more jobs. Because if you have uh, something that can provide to you money, and that is going to help you to buy food and to get a better life. I think that job is one of the essential things. All the countries and all the presidents have to, to work about it. Okay, perfect, thank you. Somebody else want to add uh, another idea related with this? Teacher, for example, for that, the best way to fight poverty is um, to build more to build more public shelter, because as, as the society has a lot of people that are uh, at the street, maybe with new places where they can go and find food, um, they will feel. Uh, supported by this uh, institution, and maybe at the future they will have another opportunity. Okay, I like that. Okay, what about second one? number two? Who wants to read it? One way to reduce government corruption is. To me, to make pollution accountable for decision. Sería la C. Politician, politician. Politician. Okay, somebody that explained this. Part, please. What, what, what does it mean? And in other words, uh, when we talk about accountable for decision, what can you infer about? You have the last two words and let us see. Okay, continue. For me, I think that, uh, where I did that, the corruption is a real problem that the society actual have. So make politician accountable for decision is a way to reduce this, this problem. But I think that uh, all can do a, a part we can uh, select a good politician and also um, uh, uh, pedir, no sé, to, to them to make a, a good job. Ask them to. Ask them, uh -huh, uh -huh, and, okay. Ask, ask them to be honest, something mm -hmm. difficult, not impossible. Uh -huh. Uh -huh, okay. 
Okay, thank you. Number four. Somebody else. Number four, please. Number four. Me, teacher. Number four. The problem. The best way to stop global warming is number four. Is to reduce deforestation. To reduce deforestation? Deforestation, yes. Okay. And what else we can do in order to 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 to, to stop global warming? We can plant some more trees, we can control uh, like um, the contamination, the pollution of, uh, of cars. Yeah, different way, you know. Okay, number five. Number five, please. Okay, maybe we are going to discuss five and six later on because of, because of the time and we need to. Okay, we want to leave it for, for the for the next break that we are going to have. Okay, let us start talking about uh, our main topic, how to organize inventory for a small business. This is for a small business in a step. Of course, uh, let me see the material. I need to tell you the number of things that we are going to talk about today. Uh, we are going to continue working on page uh, 36. This is a number five, but before uh, we are going to have some idea related with uh, how we are, can do it in order that we can have some ideas. This is for small business. And we are going to take into account some, uh, some term that we uh, already talked about, things. And today, uh, also we are going to clarify some, maybe some terms that maybe you have some doubts. Okay, who wants to, to start reading? Okay, I'm going to read this one and uh, later on you are going to do it. Inventory management is the process of having the right products in the right quantities at the right time to sell to customer. Accurately managing inventory can increase Revenue by preventing stockouts, excess inventory, and unsold products. When learning how to organize inventory for small businesses, the easy solution is to use a software program to automate the process. And uh, yesterday we talked a little bit uh, related with this in order to have a, a best uh, control of the inventory, uh, it is necessary to use a software program. Now they, uh, most of the, of the businesses use it because in that way it is easier, easier to know exactly the quantity of the product that they have. And, and also uh, how many products they, uh, they sell in a day. For well, the reason is one way that we can have in order to, to control. 
Okay, we have the, the step number one. Who wants to read it? Me, teacher. Okay. Step one, organize product and vendor information. The first step in organizing your inventory is to set up your stock and supplier information in a reliable and accessible system. Some businesses use manual tracking methods such as a spreadsheet. However, the best option for retailers is to use a point of sale POS system that will keep a vendor directory and searchable product pages for you. Okay, I remember uh, yesterday we talked about point of sale. And at that moment, uh, I remember uh, Eric mentioned this, talking about uh, like a system and, and program, right? But uh, if you search more about this, we have two different uh, point of perspective about this because we can find it as a, a as a, the point where the people sell uh, the product, but also we can find it uh, like a system like we are seeing today. For that reason, uh, we need to be careful about it. But that is the first step that we need to organize the product and vendor information. And one way to do it is just to use it a point of sale. I don't know if, if uh, in your place that you were, you have something like that. I would like to hear from you based on your experience. What do you have in your business? I don't know if you want to tell me how you organize your your product if you if you produce product Hello Don't forget that at the end, you are going to create a plan. For that reason, I'm giving you some ideas in order to that you can do it in a, in a better way, you know. OK. Uh, to organize your products, you first need to record information about each item and file it on a product's page. The product specific information you should include is, take a look. First of all, you need to have the product name, the quantity of product that you have, and also you need to have your internal product stop keeping until this is called uh, SQ, SQ number, you know? Try, try to keep it this, this acronym. It is a uh, stop keeping unit. And also we need to have the manufacturer universal product code that is called like a UPZ. I don't know, maybe here in El Salvador, uh, I don't know if, if companies use like uh, EAN, that is a European article number. I don't know if they use it or other unique identifier, a short description, 
uh, a product category, class, or a family. The wholesaler cost, the regular retail price, and also uh, we need to know what is the, the, the meaning of MSRP? That is uh, manufacturer suggested retail price. If you want to write it down, you can do it. Manufacturers suggested retail price. You need to have it there. And also you can include your uh, selling price and colors and or size. Vendor supply or manufacturer name. Reorder quantities, shipping detail, size, weight, box pack, cost, dispatch time, etc. And picture of product image. And that way it, it is going to be easy for you to, to find a product, to identify it. Is that, uh, is that clear? Any questions so far from here? Remember that uh, this is the specific information that we should include. It is an advice. Does not mean that you need to follow the rule exactly now. What about uh, before we move to the next one? Uh, I don't know if, if some somebody wants to give us like an example related with all this uh, specific information related with the product. In order that, in order that, that you show me that you uh, have a clear idea about this information. Teacher, for example, the television in the uh, store, uh, the identify uh, with uh, uh, size uh, large or, or price uh, for sale in in a each uh, story i got your point but Go uh, general, in a general way. For example, you say product name, television. Yeah, uh, and you can mention yeah. the brand. Yeah. You, can make, you can mention the brand, the quantity. Imagine you have uh, 25 television. Maybe we are not going to talk about internal product and stop keeping unit because it's going to be uh, difficult maybe right now in order to have a code and also the manufacturer but you can talk about short descriptions it is a smart tv and you can mention the dimension of the tv you can talk about product category also the class the whole the wholesale cost in the regular retail price. And your selling price. And also, uh, if you are going to talk about color, you can say it and mention it. Uh, 
I don't know if you got my idea. Yes, teacher. Okay, let, let, I'm going to give you a name of a product. And uh, with the help of most of you, are, we are going to create an example. Uh, imagine I give you the name of the product. It's going to be a cell phone. It's going to be a... Uh, Let us see iPhone 12. Okay. Somebody can, can say the quantity and we can continue creating the example that way. Hello, hello. No idea what, what, what I'm talking. Okay, imagine if I say, okay, iPhone 12. Quantity, I got uh, 10. I'm not going to mention the internal product stuff now. A short description. What can you tell me about this item? It has how many cameras? Three cameras. Ah, okay, it has three cameras. What else? With a, with a good resolution. Ah, okay, with an excellent resolution. What about memory? Uh, maybe 120. 28. 28, uh-huh. Yeah, could be, or 256. It's um, up to you, okay. Uh, what about product uh, category? Electronic device, we can say it that way. Okay, wholesale cost? Maybe 1,000. Okay, could be. Mm -hmm. And regular retail price? Uh, 1,200. But what about your selling price? Should be low than the other price. <laughs> okay, let us talk about colors and size. Maybe have four colors, black, purple, red. Pink also. Uh -huh. Yeah. Vendor, su vendor, supplier, manufacturer name, Apple. Okay. What about reorder quantities? We can, we can mention a, a number. Uh, what about when we talk about shipping detail, size, weight, box, specs, cost, dispatch time, and so on? We can have all those details. And at the end, we need to have a picture of the product image. And that way you are going to use it to, to post it in, in different mass medias in order that you promote in the star marketing. Okay. I don't know if the rest got a, a good idea related with this. Okay, keep, but keep in mind this. The stock keeping unit, this abbreviation. So please keep in mind because we are going to use. Okay, in addition to creating a log of your product and their information, you will need to file your vendor's information into your system. That information should include, okay, who wants to read it?
Volunteers. Me, teacher. Okay. When... Okay. In addition to creating a loan of your products and their information, you will need to file your vendors' information into your system. That information show in full. Vendor name, vendor contact name, vendor billing information, vendor phone, vendor emails, vendor website, order volume, volume. payment term, volume, payment term, line, report, rep, rep or showroom contact. contact. Okay, if you are going to buy directly to the company, you need to have all this information. It's really, really important that you have this. I guess it's really clear when, when we read it. Okay, uh, build relationship with product supplier, even with the best inventory management plan, Issues can still rise where you need products as sad. What, what is the meaning of, of the acronym? As soon as possible to fulfill an order. I don't know if you watch what I said, the meaning of this one. Hello? The meaning? As soon as possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I mentioned that. And I need that you tell me again in order to be sure that you got it. Yeah, it's a, it's a way to, to abbreviate these words. Okay, captaron el significado. See? Wendy, Yesenia, Laura. Sí, yes, sí, no? yes, sí. Oh, okay, okay, okay. When this happens, retailers are at the mercy of their suppliers. Is there is a quality control issue or a discrepancy with the push a order? Okay, pay attention to this, the PO. The PO means push a order. La orden de compra. Having a good relationship with your supplier can help resolve this issue <coughs> quickly. Okay, somebody else wants to read next? Para. Me teacher. Right here. Retail. Retail and commerce. Business can build a strong relationships with product players by sticking with the same supplier over a period, meeting suppliers in a person at trade shows and perhaps, most importantly, paying invoice on time. Okay. What does that mean? Tell me. Is that possible here in El Salvador? Tell me, according to your experience, tell me it is, if it is possible or not. Tell 
Tell me, tell me, tell me. Are you ready? Are you thinking? Tell me. Do you consider that we can do that right here in El Salvador? If you say yes, tell me. If you say no, tell me. Okay, try to think about, I need to check out the attendance again. Piense, 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 por favor. Piense. Ana Beatriz. Ana Beatriz. Present. Okay. Ana Lilian. Present. Eh, Escobar. Escobar is not here. Salina. Present. Eh, Diana. Present. Ah, oh, he's there, he's there, he's there. Eric. Present. Okay, Jose Jonathan. Present, Mr. Juan Carlos Rivas. Present, teacher. Okay. Laura Carolina. Present. María Concepción. María. María Elena. María Elena. María Elena. It's not here. Mario Ernesto. Present teacher. Eso. <laughs> Excellent. With power, with power. <laughs> ah, yeah, I know you got power today. I like that. I like that, you know. Okay, Mayra. Mayra. Present teacher. Ah, it's there. It's there, Mayra. Saira Marlene. Present. Okay, Saira. Misael. Present teacher. Wendy. Present teacher. Yesenia Lisset. Present teacher. Ya Jenny no apareció, Jenny Solaiva. It's not here. Okay, let us continue talking about this. And don't forget to have your notebook with you in order that you can write down some new words, some uh, new terms, like PO. Okay, let us talk a little bit more and then we are going to start solving the exercise that we have uh, in the material. Number two, step two. Mario, you are 
energetic today. So please, could you read this one? Mario. Yes, teacher. Could, could, could you read, please, the, the, the steps two? Okay. Step two, create absolutely accurate portion orders. Essentially, posts are by creator receive the document the sale of products to be delivered on a future day. They are, this is way to manage your inventory purchase, letting you track every stock purchase, purchase efficiently. From placing to from placing the order to receiving the, the shipment and paying the bill. Post are financial transactions. So creating when you have time to review your cash flow and realistically forecast your stock needs. Okay. Forecast your stock need. What does it mean for you? Explaining what? It's like a uh, fulfill. No. Excuse me? It's like forecast, it's like fulfill. Forecast, forecast. Uh-huh. Tell me. It is like um when when you when you forecast the weather that you predict you what, have what, could, to, what you have can, to what could anticipate happen. Anticipate the yes. 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 It is in that way. For that reason, nature sending accurate purchase orders. You need to be really, really sure about it. For that reason, POs are really important. Any questions so far from here? If I ask you, tell me what POs are. What can you tell me about it? Hello. Pregunta de parcial. You got it there. ¿Qué son los POs? Tell me. I told you to, to, to write down the meaning. If you wrote it, try to look in your notes and you are going to find out there. It's partners order, orders. Ah, oh, okay. Okay. And when we use it, uh, it helps us to what?
if you use when you are going to sell something in a future date. I think that you make this shit just to have a, a knowledge about what you're going to sell or what your your customers are going to, to need. Okay. Let, 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 let me tell you this as a client. I, I used to work in a company and all the time that I need a, any material or tools, they give me a PO, you know? And in that way, they can control everything. Uh, in this case, in venture. For that reason, we can find a text that uh, it help us to manage uh, our inventory purchase too. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we can see it in different ways. Uh, what I'm giving you is just uh, a, an example as a client. But but in this case, if you are the 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 person in share of sell something, you can also use it in order to manage your inventory. Yeah, and help you to know exactly um, how many products do you have, and also maybe in that way you are going to to know the the amount of money that you have according to sales. You know. Okay. Let us see the next one. Okay. And listen, this keep track of your POs. So you have a record of everything you purchased from your supplier and can cross reference your deliveries. Deliveries with what you actually expected to receive. This will help you stay on top of your inventory counts and prevent shrinkage. Do you know what is that? Shrinkage? I don't know if you see my hands. I got something here and suddenly reduce according to the context. What is the meaning of that term? You are going to prepare. What is that? Tell me. It's like this is this abastecimiento. Yeah, could be. And uh, and that happened when when you got something like this, and suddenly. Getting this is a, a reduction, it could be too. And we can find more synonyms related with this word. Okay, who wants to read the example that we have here? Who wants to read it? Me, teacher. Okay, thank you. For example, say I want to order 300 pairs of shoes from my favorite supplier for this coming spring. I will fill out a purchase order form with exact shoes and quantity that I want, see the total price, and submit my PO to supplier with a delivery date. Then in the spring, when my shoes get delivered, I can use my PO forms to make sure that my quantity, size, and models arrive accurately. Ah, okay. We have it uh, in the last two lines. Very, very clear how we can use PO forms. Mm -hmm. 
You got it? Yes. Did you understand the example? Comprendió el ejemplo? Yes? No? It's like a form that is like a template that you input your uh, the description of what you buy. Yeah. In fact, it is something like a, a platform. And you have different options there. I guess I, I got I got I got some of them. And maybe later on, I'm going to share it because maybe you can use it in a general way, in order to use general information. Uh, and you, uh, you, you need just to, to fill the gap with the information of the product. Okay, as mentioned before, many PO systems have directory features to manage vendor contact information. In some, even allow, allows you to send POs directly from their interface. PO, POs system also have low stop alert that tells you, uh, tell you when an inventory item reaches a designed minimum threshold and when you need to place a new PO. This will help you prevent stock out and the accompanying disappointed customer. What is a stock out? Hello? What is that? This will help you prevent stock out. What is that? Hello. Agotado, uh, teacher. Hello? Product agotado. Oh, okay, could be, could be. Agotado. Remember in Spanish, we have a lot of different words to refer to one sentence. Eh, que no está en existencia, teacher. O no tiene existencia. Ah, okay, okay. Okay, let, let's move because later on you need to do something else and the time is not, one, it's not our friend. Okay, number three, uh, receive inventory orders accurately. Who wants to read it? Only one, please. Only one because uh, sometimes it is difficult for me to decide. Who is going to read it? Because I got a lot of hands up. Solo uno, levante su mano, por favor. Cuando con muchos me, me cuesta decidirme por este, por el otro. A quien le doy la oportunidad. Oh, okay, you don't want to be okay. Once you have submitted your purchase order for the right amount of stock, you want to be sure that you receive the stock accurately. Supply error happens often. And if you haven't been diligent about systematically receiving your inventory, you might get shuttered, shuttered overcome, or underestimate your inventory level. 
which can lead to shrinkage and a decrease in your margins. We need to be careful about this too. At the moment, uh, as soon as you get your product, you need to you need to know exactly if 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 it is the amount, the right amount, um, the kind of product that you have, and the size, the price, and so on. Different characteristic. Okay, who wants to read this? Me, okay, to receive inventory correctly, company should receive and then tax all boxes in the same space. Count each box and check the items received against original uh, purchase order or PO. And you can see the picture there, how they are doing. I guess you already, uh, you, you got uh, more idea related with this. Any comments? No? Hello? Okay, later on you are going to create your own. Um, well, it is especially important to ensure that you check all receipt items against your PO. Suppliers generally include packing, sleep, that list, the item and quantities in your shipment. While this sleep will uh, likely match the physical shipment, in the supplier may an error during order entry, the packing slip will not match your PO and the quantity would not be accurate. If you do not catch other discrepancies by checking the receipt items against your PO, you run the risk of thinking that you received stuff that didn't actually arrive. That leads to stock choice, back order, and ultimately cash losses. Okay, because of the time, I need to move a little bit, a little hurry, I'm sorry, to accurate receive stock treatment. Who wants to read it? Ah, okay, thank you. How to accurate receive stock the treatment? Uh, pack the shipment and organize item by organize items, organize item by product. Ensure that you receive all box containers or other units in the shipment based on your post. If the cons and products match, file are receiving cyclical or in your post system. If you find error like wrongs, shortings, or missing items not dense on your post and contact your supplies immediately to resolve them. Children or this store all correctly receiving stock. Tag or the label first if need for your system. Enter your bill in, into your accounting system. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Uh, this is how to operate receive stock shipment. And tag the shipment and organize item by product. Ensure that the URC all boxes, container, and other units in the shipment based on your POS. Is a common product match file as a receive physically or in your PO system. If you find error like runs, shorted, or missing item, not this on your PO and contact your supplier immediately to resolve it. 
share of sir or correct, correctly receive stop, tackle legal files if needed for your system and then you appear into your accounting system. Okay, cost of the time, maybe I'm going just to mention the topic of the step. And number four, set up and label inventory. Uh, you can include price and product uh, labels. And, and number five, uh, you can organize your stockroom or your warehouse. You are going to look for the best way. Maybe you already have designed a play in order to put it all, all, all the all the good that you are getting right. And you can see how uh, in this case you can organize according to, to color, sizes, um, and I don't know, you can add another features. And number six, uh, tracking measure in real time. Tracking your inventory level in real time is key for keeping the right item on the shelves in the right quantities. Good inventory management, uh, whether by hand or through your PO system, a sound inventory management system record every cell in detail and adjust inventory level as each item is sold. And then we see the number seven, conduct regular inventory count. You need to physical, physical inventory count can be mundane and tedious. However, physical count can reduce all types of inventory problems dramatically. And the last one, uh, also we have if, if firmly in, in order to quantity on hands, and the last one is called re to reconciliate discrepancies. Yeah, you need to, 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 to take a, a look of what you have in physical and at the same time, you can check it in your, in your system. And now what I need is that you are going to uh, work in Excel 5. Let me show you here. I do it this way because uh, cost of the time and you need to work. And later on, I'm going to share with you the, this presentation if you want to read it. If you want to have uh, extra information related with this topic today. But let me show you. Well, I'm going to do it from the material. Okay, hold on a little bit. So I got it here. I guess uh, in the information that I share, I give you some, some idea related with this exercise. So please try to see it and you already have some ideas related with this. We are going to work on exercise number five. 
Hold on, let me move a little bit. I need to move it a little bit in order that you can see it very well. Okay, we have we, you have it here. Okay, X is a number five, like the description with the name of this step. Organized and inventory management system. We have five, only five steps here. We have the hidden organized product and vendor information, create and sign, accurate purchase order, receive inventory with the speed and accuracy, that and label inventory, record your sales. Okay. What you are going to do is uh, yes, to look for the concept. I already gave you some idea related with this exercise. So if you don't have it, uh, take a picture and start working. And later on, we are going to discuss about this. Any question? Hello? In the page 36, teacher. Excuse me? In the page 36. Yeah, it's there. Let me, let me see, let me show you here. Yeah, right here. You got it there. Okay, try to work on it. Okay, number one, so you want to record what product was sold, what the products listed price is, discounts, and what price was actually paid for the product. In the second one, get all of your product and vendor information organized and in one place. Product information, description, and shipping info include as well the business name and business contact info. We already talked about this too. Do this to your inventory and it will ensure customer and cashiers are not confused about a product's price. Number four is there a, is a difference between the order you submitted and the actual inventory deliver. Grab a copy of your purchase order to check and catalog all new inventory before it is put away in the stock room. And number five, incorporate a purchase order system to make purchases, accurate and avoid confusions. Okay, I'm going to give you like uh, seven minutes in order that you can do it. If you need more time, just let me know. And I think that all of you have it in your material. If you don't have it, I already told you to take a photo, okay? And try to work on it. I want to see you working. So please, cameras, cameras on.
Okay, tell me. Do you have it now? The first record your sales. Hold on, hold on a second. I'm going to show you again. Okay, you consider that the number one is tell me. This one? Yes. Okay. Could, could you read the concept, please? You want to record what product was sold, what the product listed, listed price is discount, and what price was actually paid for the product. Okay, thank you. Number two, somebody else? Number two, please. The number to get all your product and vendor information organized and in a one place, product information, description, and shipping info include as well the business name and business contact info is organized product and vendor information. Okay. You say this one, right? Yes. My goodness, I need to erase it. Kind of, okay. Maybe if I move it, move it a little bit. Okay, what about number three? Number three. Number three. Uh, say a label inventory. Okay. What about number four? With speed inventory, with speed in 
awkward. No sé cómo se pronuncia esto. Receive inventory with a speed and accuracy. Chile está en mi no la escuchamos. My. Uh, so, okay, the next one, the last one, please. The last one, the last one. Create and submit a great. Push order. Okay, let me try to do it in this way now. And I'll put it here. Yes, there. That's right. Okay. okay. Is there? If you want, you can make a screenshot because you're going to need it. Do you have it? No? Yes or not? Yes. Yes. Okay, based on this a step, you are going to work in, okay, hold on a second. I was thinking, I need to raise everything. They are going to move according to the squirrel. Okay, let us uh, talk about activity number six. Okay, your term in pair, use the step about as a guide and design a basic plan to organize an effective venture management system. We had like, uh, let me see, 15 minutes to do this. It's gonna be in a basic way. I don't know if you got uh, the instructions. Usando los pasos de arriba como guía, diseña un plan básico para organizar efectivamente su inventario, un sistema. Okay, let us see what you have. Got fourteen. Okay, try to work with the person assigned. And remember, if we have time, uh, we are going to present it. So please try to do it in a you can use a PowerPoint or, or another program, it's up to you. Here we go, let, let me see. Right now you have five minutes, not a day. 
Uh, okay, I, I know the time is not enough. I share with you something in the chat. I don't know if you can see it. Try to take a look at that and try to use it if you want. And another thing is that there are some of you that are not working. At least uh, I can consider listener. They are doing something else for me. They have their reason why they are. Okay, let's do it again. The last five minutes in order that you can finish and try to use the, the template that I share with you. Laura, Laura, what happened? What happened, Laura? Can you hear me, Laura? Mario, are you busy, Mario? Mayra, Mayra.
Okay. Who want to share it? Only one and the rest, uh, you're going to do it tomorrow. Who wants to do it today? And I share with you a, a PO template. I don't know if you saw it or not. I got it here. You can put the logo here, the name of the company, the vendor, and all the information. And uh, the quantity, item number, description, unit price, and well, different details. And also here the discount and the total. Yeah, maybe you can use it later on. Okay, who wants to do it today? Only one, only one. Only one period. Solo una pareja, por favor. El resto lo harán el día de mañana. Who wants to do it? Okay, well, I know, I know maybe you, you got uh, not enough time, you got only just a minute to do this. La verdad, no, no terminamos con yeah. yeah, I know, I know, that is what I'm telling you. But at least you have some ideas that you can show. Share it with Maria Elena. Can, can you share it? Compare in pantalla. Let me, let, let me. Okay. Only you, the rest, uh, they are going to do it tomorrow because of the time. Maria Elena. <laughs> Yes, I'm here. I am fit. <clears throat> the following are the key element to a well-organized inventory tracking system. Create well-designed location name and clearly label our location where. Label description with the names. With the names. Perdón, perdón, se me pasó. Ahorita regreso. Uh, 
uh, with the names of the steps step mm -hmm. to organize inventory management system. Record your sales. You want to record what product was sold, what the product's list price is discount and price as actually pay for the product. Organize product and vendor information. Get all of the product and vendor information organized and in one place, product information, description, and shipping info, include as well the business name and business contact info. Tag and label inventory. Do this to your inventory and it will ensure customers and cashiers are not, not confused about products price. Confused. Confused. <laughs> Perdón que cada vez que le daba a la aquí se me iba para allá. <laughs> no, no hay problema. Eh, Ah, yes. Uh, we say inventory with speed and accords. If there is a, a sorry, British. Receive, continue. Receive, all right. If there is a difference between the other you submit and the actual inventory delivery, grab a copy or you workshop order to check in the catalog. I all new inventory before it puts all way in the structure. <clears throat> Create and submit a correct push orders. Incorporate a purchase order system to make purchase accurate and avoid confusion. Finish. Okay, thank you. You got some ideas. By the way, this. Okay, for the one that I'm going to present it tomorrow, uh, remember that you are going to uh, use this step as a guide and design a basic plan to organize an effective management system. Yes, yes, some ideas. I know that in order to do this, we need more time. We are going to continue talking about this topic uh, tomorrow. And because of time, let me check out the attendance now before you go. Ana Beatriz. Then teacher present. Ana Lilian. Present. Escobar. Salina. Diana. Present. Eric. Selena here, sorry. Okay, Selena. Hey, Jose Jonathan. Present. Carlos. Present. Okay, Laura. Present teacher. Maria Concepcion. Maria Elena. Maria Elena. I saw her. But right now it's not here, I don't know why. Eh, Mayra? Present teacher. I'm sorry, Ma Mario Ernesto. Present teacher. Okay, and Mayra too, okay. Eh, Zaira? Present teacher. Okay, Zaira, uh, Mikael? Present. 
present. Misael. Let me see Misael. Wendy. Present teacher. And Jesenia. Yes, teacher, I'm here. Eric is there. Yeah, Eric is there too. I'm sorry. I'm here too, teacher. I am later, but okay. I am here. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I was checking your name. Okay, thank you very much. I hope to see you tomorrow. Um, try to, I'm going to share with you the, the presentation in order that you have the new vocabulary and the new terms, and you can read it and get the information and keep it for you, okay? Thank you very much. Good night. Bye. Bye. Bye to you. Good night. See you, see you. Jesse, you sick.